Hello everyone. In this video, I will do an example of questions in which you are asked to find number of element of a set or its intersection with another one or its unit. Um, here I will use different methods. I will actually use three methods. One for Mula's second Van diagram, and then I will use counting trees. Let's see what are what what is the question. So the question says n of u, the universal set, is given as 20, n of a is 7, n of a complement intersect b is 6, and n of a intersect b complement is 2. Then the question asks, find n of b, number of elements of b, n of the union of a and b, and n of a complement intersect b complement. So let's do the first method uh, for Mila's. So uh, in the questions like this, you have to know uh, some formulas. The main one is the inclusion exclusion principle, which says that n of a union b is n of u, n of a plus n of b minus n of intersection. So first include, then exclude the intersection. And as a result of that, we have this very important formula that elements of a set uh, are either in intersection of A and B or in the intersection of A and B complement. So it's, it's a result of this formula, but I'm writing separately because it's important for us and we're using it. So you, find, you first find the intersection. Uh, so basically, elements of A, you chop it in two pieces. One piece is the ones that are in B and the ones that are not in B. So if you add those two pieces, you get this. And there is a last one, which is the complement of an L, uh, a set has n u minus n a elements, which is very obvious. So you have the total number of elements u, subtract uh, number of elements in a, you will get the number of elements in the complement. So let's do part a. Here, so n b, we are going to find n b. And well, uh, I can use this formula. N B is the part that A intersects B plus the part that A, uh, sorry, uh, N B is the part that B intersects with A plus the part that B does not intersect with B, which is uh, B com intersect A complement. So I want to use that N of B is N of B intersect A plus N of B intersect A complement. Well, this is given. This is here, 6. Uh, but intersection, I don't know what is it. So this formula will give me the result if I know what is N of B intersect A. But if you look at this part, N of A is 7, and N of A intersect B complement is 2. And if I write this exact same formula here, then for A, so I have number of elements of A is equal to number of elements of A which are in B and number of elements of A which are not in B. Now use this one. N of A is given. So N of A is 7 plus is equal, sorry, is equal to N of intersection we don't know, we want to find it. plus n of a intersect bc, n intersect bc is 2, so it is given here. Well, now I can use this equation and find the intersection. Intersection would be n of a intersect b is equal to 7 minus 2, which is 5. So I found that uh, intersection has five elements. Now I can plug it back into this formula and find what's the end of 
B. So intersection is 5, and intersection of B and A complement, B and A complement is 6. That means N of, N of B is equal to L. Well, this piece was a very important piece because I have N of A and I have N of A intersect B complement, so I could find N of uh, A intersect B, and I used it in part A. Let's see what is part B. Part B asks for what is the number of elements in the union. So we need the inclusion and exclusion principle. Inclusion exclusion principle. So here now I have n of a, which is 7, plus I have n of b. I just found it. It's 11 minus, and I need n of a intersect b, which we did before, and it's 5. So 7 plus 11 is 18 minus 5 is 13. The union has 13 elements. So that's part B. E. Part C, uh, we are looking for A complement intersect B complement. So N of A complement intersect B complement. Here, you have to know one important formula that uh, how complement and union and intersection works. So this is the same thing as A union B then complement. That's called De Morgan's uh, law. So complement goes into the union, but when you have intersection, the outcome, uh, when you have union, the outcome would be intersection, and if it is intersection, the outcome would be union. Well, but if you have the intersect, sorry, uh, the number of elements of the complement of a set, you can use this formula. The complement of a set has the whole set of the universal set, all the elements of the universal set, but the elements in that set. So here, then I have n u minus n of union of a and b. And everything is given. n u is 20 minus the, inter the, and the, the union we found is 13. And the result is 7. So n N of A complement intersect B complement is equal to 7. So this was method 1, and it takes some work. Yeah? So you have to know these three formulas, plus you have to know the Stemorgan's law. But we know other, other methods to solve questions like this. The other two methods that I will use here are first van der so I will solve it using band diagrams. And the second would be I will solve it using uh, counting trees. So let's see. So method two is band diagram. So I have universal set, I have A, I have B. Well, let's just put everything in place. N u equal to 20, let's keep it for now. N of A is 7. So A is formed from two pieces, this and this. And what this says is these two together is 7. On the other hand, A complement intersect B. A complement is outside this, and intersect with B is this part. Uh, another way, uh, in other words, you can read this elements which are in B but are not in A. Elements which are in B but are not in A. So this is this part. Not the middle part, just the right hand side. So that is equal to 6. So I can put the number 6 in this region. So I have 6 there. I have 7 here. How about a intersect B complement. Elements which are in A but not in B. Elements which are in A but not in B is this region. And that says it's 2. Now I have 2 here. These two together is 7. So that means this is 5. 
Well, now I have 5. I have 1, 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 2 is 13. So this whole three region together, which we will see and notice that this is the union of A and B, have, uh, has 13 elements. And the whole universal set has 20. That means the outside of the union would have 7 elements. Well, now I have found everything, but let's see what are the parts. Part A asks what is, what is N of B. B is formed from these two pieces. The middle one, the intersection part, the part which is not uh, elements of A. So the uh, number of elements would be 5 plus 6, which is 11. Part B, the union. The union means that the elements of parts that are either in B or A. So I have this part, this part, this part, three parts, and you add them, you get 13. And part C says A complement intersect B complement. Means that elements which are not in A and elements which are not in B. And that would be the part outside of the union. Elements first are not in A and are not in B. So are not in A would be this part, but we have to exclude this part, which would be this. So N of A complement intersect B complement is equal to 7. So that was method 2, which looks like is a little bit easier. Now let's see what's method 3, which is using um, counting tree. Uh, I have two sets, so uh, I start with union, uh, universal set. So I have 20 elements here. Then I have elements of A, elements of A complement. So elements of A is given 7. And then I go for B, for B complement. Then uh, B for B complement. Now uh, this is given. This A complement intersect B is A complement intersect B is here. And it is 6. A intersect B complement, A intersect B complement is here too. Now I have counting tree and I can complete that because what is the rule? Sum of elements on the right hand side, sum, sorry, sum of elements on the branches on the right hand side, or outgoing branches of a node should add up to the number on the right hand side or on number on the branch on ingoing branch. So here it, there is 20, this is 7, so 20 minus 7 would be 13. That's a complement. Here is 13, 6 of them is here, so 13 minus 6 is 7 here. And here 7 minus 2 is so the tree is complete, but what are the parts that we are looking for? N of B. N of B means add all the paths which includes uh, B. So I have this includes B, this includes B. You add these two. I have 5 here, 6 here. 5 plus 6 is 13, and this is N of N of B. That's part A. What is the union? Union means uh, add up all the branches which has either A or B or both of them. So in this case, it would be this because it includes both A and B. This because it's, it is including A. And this because it includes B. So these three together, so let me do this, this, this. These three together will give us N of 
A union B. And we add these numbers. I have 5 there plus 2 plus 6, and that's 13. And the last part says, what is A complement intersect B complement? A complement intersect B complement. That's the number. So N of A complement B complement is the number on the branch which includes A complement and B complement. So this is 7. This way, uh, we found all the three questions that uh, were asked. And as you notice, we can use different methods, counting trees, Venn diagrams, and formulas to uh, solve questions like this.